Hey guys and gals of both YouTube and Destiny Universe, today we are going to be talking about a pretty extensive article that came out a couple days ago on the rumors of what Destiny 2 will bring. The article written by Gabe Gerwin at DigitalTrends.com tells us from the very start that the franchise is officially gone off script. However, for Bungie this isn't all that unfamiliar given legal documents that were released during a lawsuit between Bungie and a former studio composer in 2015 which could suggest that this had also halted the original release of Destiny. So what might we have to look forward to once they finally bring us Destiny 2? Well according to the Kotaku report, Destiny 2 may feature some missions on Mars. Bungie reportedly removed an entire section of the Taken King which was supposed to be set on the Red Planet with a new featured public area and raid. Sounds familiar, doesn't it? New public area and raid? Though the Kotaku report did not assert that this will definitely make it into the new game, rumor also has that the High Moon Studios may be composing most of this. Though this name might not be familiar to most, they are responsible for the Transformers game and Deadpool game, and per this report they have been working with Bungie for well over a year. It looks like the Bungie may be taking the Halo 2 approach and lighting everything on fire. In a series of proposed concept images published by Aziz Dazmatov, we see a landscape erupting into flames and guardians also on fire holding a sword, a small shield, and a bolt-like spear that resembles one of the Nameless King's attacks in Dark Souls 3. Dazmatov said Bungie rejected the concept art, so it is definitely not official, but if it was designed after hearing about the game's narrative scope. Well, one keen observer on Reddit also noted that the images suggest Bungie may be trying to make more explicit connections between Destiny 2's lore and North mythology. The art shows representatives of Destiny's three classes, the Titan, the Warlock, and the Hunter, holding various medieval weapons, a shield, a sword, and a spear, respectively. As the Redditor pointed, those three weapons correspond as the legendary weapons of that culture. Svalin, an icy shield, that protects the earth from the fire in the sky could inspire the shield we see the titan holding, while the sword and spear could draw inspiration from Tyrfring and Gungnir, respectively. Sword Tyrfring, according to Norse legend, leaned like fire and was capable of cutting through, well, you guessed it, iron. Others are warning about, you know, what might happen with their uh, gear and light level. Though we expect Destiny 2 will be a full-fledged sequel, there is evidence the games will be connected on a technical level so players won't have to worry about losing their progress and equipment when they jump into the new game. Shortly after the release of the original game in 2014, Bungie told IGN they will be able to transfer their characters from Destiny to the sequel. Community manager David Dagu told IGN if you take a look at the way people have played other games for a long period of time, they have had a relationship with the same character for a very long time. What's not clear, however, is the developer plans to or plans to introduce or reintroduce new players to the game. Those who haven't played since the original game launch in 2014 and those who haven't played Destiny at all could be at a huge disadvantage. Well, that's all for today, guys. Uh, the link for this article is in the description below. Make sure you go and check it out. Uh, also, remember, if you like the content you heard here, please don't forget to go on over to my channel, check it out, like, and subscribe. There will be more content uploaded weekly to monthly. Uh, again, have a great day.